So let's talk about how to find the area of all of our quadrilaterals. In order to find area, you need to find a base length and a height length. A base refers to uh, the set of parallel sides. One of those parallel sides is the base. The height is perpendicular. It is the perpendicular distance between the two bases. So in this example here, AB and DC are parallel. That's why the arrowheads are on them. So AB, we're going to consider the base, and the height is perpendicular from AB to DC. The area is found simply by multiplying the base times the height. A equals BH. So here's our shape with four congruent sides and four 90 degree angles. 90s are nice because that means that side is a height because it's perpendicular between the other parallels. So the area of this is just going to be the base, which is this side, times the height. 3 times 3 equals 9 inches squared because it's 3 inches times 3 inches. So here we have another shape that is a rectangle. It's nice that we know that that's a perpendicular that makes AB and also CD the height of the shape. So if 8 is our base, area equals base times height, 8 times 4, we have 32, I don't know what the units are, so we'll just call it units squared. So when our sides are not perpendicular, as in they're not a square and not a rectangle, we still have to find that perpendicular distance between the bases. It can be measured anywhere, it just has to be perpendicular. So in this example, we have a parallelogram where the bottom is 8 and we have a perpendicular distance between the bottom and the top, between the parallel sides, of 7. So area equals base times height, 8 times 7. We have an area of 56 units squared. So again, we have bases are parallels. So here is a base because it's parallel to this side up top and the height would be that perpendicular distance between the two. Now it doesn't matter which way we turn our shape as long as we're going between parallels. So now we have base 2 being our base. It's parallel to this what is now the top and we need the perpendicular distance between those for the height. Doesn't matter which way you turn it. We need perpendicular distance between parallels. So here we have a rhombus. We know it's a rhombus because they're all the same size and they're, we have pairs of parallel. So we have a perpendicular distance there of 4. So area equals base times height. 5 centimeters times 4 centimeters. 20 centimeters squared. Now trapezoid gets us into easier but harder. There's only one set of parallels. So we only have two bases to choose from. Everything else actually has two sets of parallels and two bases we could choose from. But here's our problem. Our bases are different lengths. Everything else before, the bases were the same size. So what do we do with that? The other thing to remember is that it, bases aren't always the bottom because I could just keep turning that shape. The bases are the parallels. So in this drawing, the bases are A and B. They're running vertically. So here's our example. We've got two different bases. Well, area is base times height. i got two bases, so simple solution. Let's average the bases. So you average bases by doing 1 plus the other, and then dividing by 2, and we're going to multiply that by the height. So 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 divided by 2, 7 times 5, we have an answer of 35 units squared. So for a trapezoid, because the bases are different, just take the average of the bases. The arithmetic mean is another way of saying it. Add them together, divide by 2. 
a kite is our final shape. And now we're running into problems with the formula because uh, there are no bases. There are no parallel sides. So, what do we do with it? The simple thing to do with the kite is to break it into triangles because we know we have a height. If here is a triangle, we know those diagonals are perpendicular. Well, that would be the height of that triangle. And we also know that that DB segment going from corner to corner on a kite, that's going to get bisected. So we were told that BD was 16. Well, it's cut in half, so each side is 8. So the height of the top triangle is 8, and the base of the top triangle is 22. Well, you remember how to find the area of a triangle. One half base times height, because it's actually half a parallelogram, or half a rectangle, or it's half of a quad. So, one half of 22 times 8. One half, that's 11. 11 times 8 is 88. Well, it's symmetric, so there's actually two of those. So, I get 88 plus 88, which is like 90 plus 90 minus 2 minus 2. So, 180 minus 176 centimeters squared. So, just think of it as two triangles. Now, if you actually kind of fidget with uh, how we did that with two triangles, you'll actually realize that the formula for, that there is a formula for a kite. You don't have to memorize it. If you just remember it's two triangles, that's great. But it's actually the diagonal times the diagonal divided by two. So, this is not a kite. Yes, it is. It's a special kite. It's a special kite called a rhombus. Well, we can do it the same way we just did with the kite. Let's talk about the diagonal. So we're going to take diagonal 1, which is 48, because it's 24 plus 24, and diagonal 2, 10 times plus 10, so that's 20. And we're going to divide all that by 2. Well, I'm just going to divide 20 by 2 first and get me 10. So I got 48 times 10. So the area of this, tri this rhombus is 480 units squared. That's using the D1, D2 divided by 2 concept, if you can remember. Because a rhombus is a special kite. It's got those perpendiculars in the middle, make a bunch of right triangles. There we go.